a fraud boy tried to scam me and to take all my money from my bank account. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Beauty by Nisi here. If this is your very first time, welcome to the Nisi fam. We would love to see you every time that I post a video. Consider subscribing when you watch this video and you love it. And if this is not your very first time, as always, thank you so much for always coming back and supporting. Now, in today's video, I'm going to tell you a story about how I almost got scammed, guys. This is for real. So if you guys are interested in hearing my story and watching me put makeup on, I need you to stay tuned. So as always, I wanted to keep my video very short, but when I'm telling stories like this, it's really hard to like do the makeup and tell the story so that you guys understand. So I'm going to try to talk as I apply this makeup or if I feel like it's getting too long and I'm going all over the place, I will do a voiceover and then um, I'll just fast forward through the video. So I hope you guys understand. Let's get this started. So starting off, uh, I was looking for a, a pharmacy job because most of you know that I am in pharmacy school. Uh, one thing about me, just a little backstory. So when you're in pharmacy school, I feel like the best thing to do is to work at a pharmacy, obviously, so that whatever you're learning and practicing, you can actually get like first-hand information when you're actually in the pharmacy or at the hospital working now I have worked um, at my job for so long they were very gracious to like work with me through pharmacy school they said I could come at any hours and the pay is really good so I didn't want to get rid of that job but I just needed something during this summer um, for, uh, related to pharmacy so that I would not like be so lost in class and in lab when we're doing practical stuff so what our school does what you see does is like we will regularly get job offers from hospitals looking for interns like when you're in the doctor of pharmacy program you have an intern license that you can actually work with um, so i've had my license since january i have my license for ohio which is the state that i live in and i also have a license for the neighboring state which is kentucky so i can work in both ohio and kentucky my license is just there i'm not really using it so this summer i really wanted to do something with it now like i said earlier we get offers from different um pharmacists different doctors telling us availabilities we had several of them during school uh, the second semester but I never applied for them there was one for like an assisted living where they have like a department for uh, pharmacy where you take care of the patients and um, the patients medications and different stuff I tried getting into that but I, at that time the coronavirus had started this I'm sorry this is just a long backstory this will make the whole thing make sense so I, I I think I got into contact with the person and whilst I was going through her emails going back and forth with her on what I was expected to do an email pops up of a person I think I'll leave the email address I don't think the person is even uh, legit a person who is um, in my school email telling uh, telling me that there is an offer now the email I believe was sent to like my whole class group or something like that I saw it and I was like oh I have to uh, uh, actually flag this if this doesn't work I could use this too so I was going back and forth and it seemed like this company which was actually closer to where I live they um, they were looking for someone immediately so I couldn't apply. So I emailed them and then <laughs> I emailed this person. First of all, I looked up the name, okay? Kelly Morgan. I looked up Kelly Morgan and the only Kelly Morgan, there are so many Kelly Morgans, of course, 
but this person that I'm looking at is in real estate they have nothing to do with pharmacy so that should have been the first um, the first sign but I try to give an excuse I'm like okay maybe this is coming from my undergrad because I still get emails from my undergrad like job offers and stuff um, so I made that excuse I'm like well maybe it's the undergrad situation so I email this person this person gets back to me immediately she's like hey I am traveling I'm right now in Florida I need a personal assistant you're gonna work nine hours in a um, in a week three hundred and fifty dollars uh, basically confirming what this person said this is first come first serve I need you to send me this information so that we can start working immediately that did not sit well with me like there was a knot in my stomach telling me something doesn't sound right and guys I sh it was the Holy Spirit and I should have listened to it somebody will call it instincts but I felt like it was the Holy Spirit warning me so I was like okay now I looked at the information the person needed the person needed my name my address um, a phone number my age and then uh, I think my bank name now the bank name I was like okay just the bank name and then they put in a uh, parenthesis just bank name just for uh, payment purposes okay fine I gave them the bank name so I'm like well this information is basically something that is in uh, is public information anybody can look it up so they cannot really use that to get to me so I gave them that information as soon as I gave them that information they uh, they basically went over what my task will be mind you they didn't ask me where I live my task will be basically uh, responding to emails paying bills just like a personal assistant will do and then in my head I'm like so how is this gonna work so when I send them all that information I'm like how am I gonna work if you're in Florida and I'm here and she's like well I'm gonna come back in like two weeks when I come back we'll have a one um, a face to face meeting and then we'll go over all the formalities but this is what I need I basically need you to do and I want you to start this week it's like okay so we um I, I sent them that information so she was basically supposed to mail me some information i was supposed to pay x and y and z bills uh these builders i was supposed to pay the uh what do you call it the um like the the person doing the construction i don't know whoever is the overseer i was supposed to pay those bills pick up a few things from somewhere mail it to someone i mean okay fine now mind you two days before she responded because uh actually it took time for her to give me the information that i just gave you guys i had a dream okay i had a dream basically and this is the reason why i was telling you guys is the holy spirit i had a dream that somebody with a pen and paper walking with me down a staircase started asking me how much i make how much i'm gonna make in pharmacy school when i graduate the person was basically taking all my information and then I said in the dream I had this feeling that the person was taking my information just to dupe me like just to scam me this is the dream that I had so I had this dream I was like oh my god I got up I prayed about it I didn't even know what this meant okay if I tell you you are a child of God and God is looking out for you not just spiritual part but like physically like God God is there there's a God okay so I had this dream and then I waited uh, this person sent me the supposed um, uh, tracking number for the mail that they had sent the package that they had sent me so I was just waiting and then when they sent me the tracking number they were like click this link and save it on your computer and do it immediately and it just it just sounded off for me so I looked it up on my phone. I looked up the link and I was like, you know what? Let me get to my computer so I can save it on my computer. Thank God I didn't do that. So I was I, I was back home from work. I was doing stuff and I totally forgot to save it on my computer, okay? So the mail was supposed to come in. I didn't even check for it. I didn't even look it up because first of all, remember the main goal was to work in a pharmacy. This was not 
pharmacy related. So I was like, you know what? This is just extra cash that, that I could use it for random stuff. So why not? Even the richest person needs extra cash. So um, I didn't really follow up. I didn't download the link uh, to, look, um, to look up when this thing was going to uh, arrive. So when it finally came, it was like almost a week later. And usually if it is mailed early, it shouldn't take that long. Open the envelope and guys, the moment I picked out, there was a check of $2,800 made out to my name. And the moment I touched the check, it just felt different. Okay. It just felt, the check felt different. And I was like, wait, now I'm going to show you guys the check. Okay. So as you guys can see. The check out here looks legit. Everything looks good. I actually covered my name. But um, I told this person basically, okay, I don't trust this check. I don't want to put it in my account. Go ahead and send me a money order, okay, or a certified uh, check. Something that is not going to go into my account and I will end up losing money. And they didn't get back to me. So they sent me a text and said that they were sick in an accident i'll just put it out here i basically told them you're fake you're fraud i'm gonna find you i know i used to work at the bank that was a bad check and i'll get you arrested so i also created because first of all the number that he used was like a made-up number on the computer okay it was like those computer made-up numbers so i told him i know that this number isn't right and I can find you and get you arrested. So I pretty much threatened, I threatened him. And then he was like, oh, okay, fine. You got me, blah, blah, blah. And he was texting me back and forth. I'm like, you MF, God forgive me. I just cursed. Yeah, dude was trying to actually scam me out of my money like drain my account so what basically was gonna happen was i will deposit the check it will probably not work but he will like immediately let me sign out checks to all these people that he's claiming are doing work for him well first of all i thought it was a she he's gonna have me send checks to them and then they would just run away with the money and this check wouldn't work so guys that is my story that is my scam story Alright guys, so this is the final look, end of the video. Hope you enjoyed me doing my makeup and you learned a lesson, seriously, from this experience. Cause guys, like for real, a fraud boy was about to drain all the money from my account. Like, can you even imagine that? What would you have done? Like, this is so serious, it's crazy. Like seriously, if you are a teenager, you're in college or I mean, if if whoever you are, whether you are a parent or whether you are a, a child, please, please, please be careful, especially these days on the internet when we're giving our information, like online shopping, different things, job offers, like it is so easy for someone to scam you and take all your money, get all your information, do different stuff with your information. So please, please be careful. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you are new, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. Make sure that you share this video so that this will also help people. I mean, this basically will give you guidelines to, in case you, um, cause I am pretty sure this person, this is not the first time they try doing this. They've done this for a while. So be careful out there. Share my video. Also check out my last video. It will be on the screen somewhere here maybe here or maybe here somewhere make sure that you share thank you guys so much follow me on social media all my information will be in my description box thank you and i'll see you in my next one